Public health researchers in Oregon are preparing to launch something we've never seen on this scale. They want to gather volunteers in every corner of the state from every community, especially minority populations, and convince them to take their temperature every single day for a full year and report that to the researchers. 10,000 of those people will have coronavirus test kits at home. If you're a household of four, we'll have a thermometer, uh, which has a, a removable tip that you can share amongst your family. Each individual, we're looking for symptoms in each individual in that household. Dr. David Bangsberg is with OHSU and the PSU School of Public Health and one of the forces behind the plan. The rough draft of the idea is to have 100,000 volunteers scattered across the state, probably more in the bigger metro areas, but you want to have a wide swath of the state covered. The volunteers will take their own temperature every day and it will be quickly reported back to OHSU, probably with thermometers connected to the internet. So they'll be able to see virtually in real time, statewide, how everyone is doing. If one or more people suddenly develop a fever, they'll know and they'll be able to swoop in with a team of specialists to get the person tested. And if it's COVID-19, find all the other people they were in contact with and get them tested too. That way, any new outbreak can be contained quickly before it takes off and becomes widespread. It may well be the first of its kind in the nation. Can you really get people to do it? Trying to get 100,000 people to do anything every day for a year seems like a big ask. Well, I think it is important to ask, but this is the most important event that we've had in the, in the century. You know, this is an opportunity for people to make a difference, not only for themselves and their, their household, but for all of Oregon. All of Oregon. So once you get the 100,000, do you think it'll be 100% compliance? We hope to have as much participation as we possibly can. And while we're talking about testing and tracing, you should know it's relatively easy right now because most of us are staying at home. But once the businesses start reopening and, and people start um, returning to some of their usual activities, they will have more and more contacts and our contact investigations will potentially be more complex. Um, and people may not remember all of the people that they had close contact with. And that's why public health officials will arrive with a stern warning should you test positive in the future and it will affect not just you, but everyone you live with. Uh, we'll need to move back to isolating cases and asking for volunteer, voluntary quarantine of whole households. That's not happening right now because most of us are staying home. And OHSU will start sending out postcards next week to 150,000 volunteers across the state. They've picked them at random. They hope that gives them the 100,000 that they need for this study. Back to you. All right, thanks, Pat.